Greetings from Airship Puerto Rico. We're wrapping up uh, phase six today. We first came here in response to Hurricane Maria. And after seeing the devastation and how long people were out of power and without water and without their toilets, uh, without refrigeration or air conditioning, we decided to come here and build an example of how the Earthship can provide all these things uh, to the people of Puerto Rico. Uh, every building we do catches its own water and filters it for drinking, uh, and it's used for all household uh, washing and showering and everything. Uh, also, every building makes its own electricity from uh, photovoltaic panels and stores that in batteries. Every house uses natural and recycled materials. Uh, so here, uh, especially focusing on uh, repurposing garbage. Uh, there's there's you know, endless source of garbage here on the island, especially after uh, a hurricane and there's no real recycling programs on the island. So we have a, a supply of tires and cans and bottles and plastic bottles and glass bottles and just about Anything we can think of a use for, we'll use. Uh, also, every house, every building we do uh, passively heats and cools itself uh, using insulated thermal mass. So these buildings have that as well, mainly focused on cooling here as opposed to heating. We do that with uh, mass walls made out of tires and then we insulate those with crushed single-use plastics mountains of them and then we have uh, cooling chimneys in the middle where hot air rises and is replaced with cool air that comes through tubes buried in the ground uh, also contained sewage is our fifth principle where we have zero discharge sewage systems so everything is contained in botanical cells like these and they're lined with uh, plastic or rubber and all the sewage is used right on site. Nothing goes into the stream that's just right down the hill here. And then the sixth thing that every building provides is food. And the food is grown out of um, these botanical cells. You can pretty much grow whatever you want. So those are the six principles that we brought to Puerto Rico to build this example. Um, uh, this is a design based on um, circular buildings that we call huts. And we chose these huts because they are inherently hurricane resistant and also earthquake resistant. So since the hurricane, actually, there's been uh, thousands of earthquakes. So we, we fell to 4.1 uh, just last weekend. Uh, so the circular shape and the dome shape is uh, very resilient to both earthquake and hurricane. That's one reason why you see uh, so much cement used here because that material lends itself to uh, creating that resistance. So, so why would we come to Puerto Rico and do this? Well, our buildings create uh, a situation where since they provide the six basic human needs, creates uh, self-reliance and self-reliance I think for basically all humans is, uh, is a necessity that we've sort of lost in our contemporary world um, especially needed here in Puerto Rico uh, for example the electric grid here no one can rely on uh, it's bankrupt it's broken power goes out all the time even without a hurricane so when that happens, people are left with uh, no air conditioning, no refrigeration, no water, because they're getting water from a well. Um, and, you know, and basically have, have nothing just because the grid goes down. So electricity generating it ourselves, you know, that creates self-reliance. Uh, having, you know, we have right now, we have over 3,000 gallons of water just stored. Um, so, ha you know, we have, we have security in water and electricity 
uh, right here on site right now. So, you know, to me, self-reliance is, is a huge thing the buildings achieve because if you can't rely on the electric grid, and you certainly can't rely on corrupt government, and you also, in our society, can't rely on uh, corporations. You know, corporations are, are in it for the money. Um, government is potentially corrupt and also in it for the money, and so these entities don't have your best interest in mind. So we're trying to create a situation where you don't have to be reliant on entities that, that, that really don't care that much about you. Uh, what they care about is money <laughs> and taking your money. So, uh, and I think it's very, you know, I think the people of Puerto Rico, uh, you know, really, really feel that. And they've been taken advantage of and mistreated as a territory by the U.S. government. And so uh, people seem ready to uh, become self-reliant and take care of themselves and not depend on these corrupt entities and corporations and government. Uh, so that's the big motivation for us to keep coming here. I mean this is our sixth visit and there'll be a seventh visit probably in uh, February uh, 2021 so keep your eyes out for that. We'll throw it up on our, in our media and that's the reason why we keep coming back. Thanks everybody, all the hundreds of people, hundreds, literal hundreds of people who have volunteered here and donated their time and money and probably another thousand people that have made small donations. Uh, this, is, this is a grassroots effort. Uh, we haven't received any kind of grants. Uh, we don't even want corporate funding. Uh, this is proof that on a grassroots level, people can get together with small amounts of money and, and create a, a great impact the use of this building is uh, it's on a family farm and they've dedicated it uh, to be used as a community center and a headquarters for their nonprofit, uh, which is focusing in on managing uh, all the garbage that occurs you know here in Aguada uh, as well as in times of disaster they're going to focus in on relief and this building can be a headquarters uh, for relief and uh, they can, uh, they can keep operating in the most important time for their nonprofit because they're not dependent on, on all these fractured systems. So I um, hope to uh, see you here at Phase 7 and any of you who have contributed, thank you so much. You made it happen.